The loaded rescue scope is initially introduced into the mouth just the same as the standard airway. The rescue scope is initially introduced into the mouth horizontally until it reaches the base of the tongue where it turns to a vertical position and descends near the epiglottis. The rescue scope must be pushed as posterior as possible so that the rescue scope's distal end, that is the epiglottis sweeper, is assured to descend in front of the epiglottis. Now gently sweep the epiglottis anteriorly by pulling towards the Adam's apple. The vocal cords should be exposed and ready to receive the endotracheal tube. Hold the rescue scope firmly in place. The endotracheal tube is gently pushed out of the loading channel and introduced in between the vocal cords into the tracheal cavity. Not to forget to always hold the tube a short distance from the entry point so it does not bend while it is pushed forward into the tracheal cavity. The endotracheal tube balloon may be inflated at this time. 